Welcome. Welcome. I'm Veronica Schmidt, president of Custer Regional Hospital and the Custer Market. Thank you all for joining us today to celebrate the future of Custer Regional Hospital and Clinic, Regional Health's commitment to transform healthcare for the future, and our purpose of helping patients and communities live well. This is a great day. Even Mother Nature is celebrating with us. <laughs> Pretty good for the end of October. We took a chance. I see many community and business leaders, regional health leaders, and so many others who have been instrumental in getting us to this day. Paulette Davidson, Regional Health Chief Operating Officer, is with us today. Kyle Richards, Regional Health Hills Market President. Our construction team partners from Skull Construction and Architects BWBR. And I see other community and business leaders, regional health board members, providers, and caregivers. Again, it means so much to have you guys here today. We have a few individuals we've asked to say a few words before the ceremonial groundbreaking. Then we invite you to join us for a reception immediately following where we will be happy to talk more about the project. Without further ado, I would like to introduce the CEO and President of Regional Health, Mr. Brent Phillips. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I have some comments, but I may, uh, I may go off script for a bit. For a lot of you, uh, this is the first time I've had a chance to meet you. So I thought I'd take a second and introduce myself. I've had the privilege to live here in the Black Hills almost two years. I joined Regional Health as the President and CEO of January 1st of 2015. I grew up in Idaho, oldest of nine kids, grew up on a dairy farm. I learned to work hard, and healthcare is a piece of cake compared to dairy farming, <laughs> even though healthcare is a challenge. Uh, I had an opportunity to go to college and my undergrads in finance, but I took two years off and was a missionary in Africa, and it changed my life. It taught me about compassion and caring and community in ways that I didn't understand until I had the opportunity to experience it firsthand. And when I came home, nothing against banking, but that just didn't have the same flair after I had served two years in Africa. And so my advisor suggested I choose healthcare, which was a big surprise. I didn't know anybody that worked in healthcare. In fact, I have to admit my first day in graduate school, the professor kept referring to the ICU, and I had to go home and look it up. I had no idea what an ICU was. So thank goodness I, 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 I can learn. And, uh, and it's been a fantastic career. I've absolutely loved it. Had opportunities to work in fantastic organizations throughout the country. But I gotta tell you, I am so blessed to be here at Regional Health and here in the Black Hills. And it's communities like this and it's people like you that make the difference, truly. You know, this, the last couple of weeks have been fantastic for all of us at Regional Health and all of us as members of the Black Hills. You know, two weeks ago we announced uh, at our, um, the unveiling of our Advanced Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute in Rapid City. And also the, the plans that we have in Rapid City with regards to building a new ICU, expanding the emergency department, creating a new hospital-based clinic, um, and just and making all private rooms in Rapid City. Yesterday we had the opportunity uh, in Sturgis to do, uh, have a groundbreaking for a $10 million uh, expansion and a new clinic adjacent to the hospital. And here we are today in Custer at a groundbreaking for a brand new hospital and clinic here in Custer. What, I mean, it's just fantastic, uh, the advances that we're having. I got I, I, I want to I shout out to the Custer uh, County Health Board for their diligence and tenacity to get to where we are today. Uh, I had the opportunity to meet with those fine men and women uh, about 18 months ago, and they shared their desire for a new hospital and a new clinic and ask if regional health would, would contribute and help to that. I didn't realize that those discussions had been going on for years and years and years. And said in the meeting, sure, why don't we do it? I said, if, if, if the community's support, if the city's support can continue uh, to support the new hospital like it has the old hospital, all go to the regional health board and ask for about 14 and a half million dollars and let's put this together let's do this 
And in three weeks, we had approval from the Regional Health Board to do it. And so today is the beginning of that new journey for us here in Custer. And we're incredibly excited to be partnered with you. You know, we're going to have the opportunities. We've recruited two new physicians here in Custer, and I think it's just the beginning. With the opening of this new hospital and clinic, people will be able to stay here local and receive the care that's necessary. And that's great. Health care is local. And when specialty care is needed, you'll travel to Rapid City and receive great care in Rapid City. We plan to have the opportunity to bring specialists from Rapid City down here to make it easier for people that live here in the Southern Hills to see a specialist and not have to drive to Rapid City for every single visit. And that's gonna be a benefit. The future is incredibly bright for us. We think there's additional opportunities that we can have here in Custer. And we talk about integrative medicine and new ways of melding our medical care and our spiritual healing and our, and our, and, and the, um, our internal compass and how those things can fit together that we focus on the entire person in our healing process. And this can be a center for that work. And we're excited about those possibilities as we think about integrative medicine. That can be things like acupuncture and massage and lots of things that can help individual patients that have needs that are beyond that that a surgeon can perform or a physician can perform. So we are incredibly excited about the future. So Today we are about to break ground and begin a, to write a new chapter in the history of Custer Regional Hospital and Clinic. It begins with the construction of a next generation healing environment to better serve the needs of our patients today and into the future. It's not every day that a community can celebrate the construction of a brand new hospital and clinic. What's more, this is being made possible through a private, private public partnership most places in America can only imagine which is exactly what Brent was talking about with the support of the city of Custer. Regional Health is contributing $14.425 million while the city of Custer is making a $4 million contribution through the continuation of capital funds. When all is said and done, where we stand will be the site of a modern 42,000 square foot healing environment. A beautiful state-of-the-art hospital and clinic that will greatly benefit the community, the region, and most importantly, our patients. Flipping the page. <laughs> the earth we move today will lead to the fulfillment of an enhanced healing environment. Patients will benefit from increased privacy, an expanded emergency department, new colonoscopy services, a growing family medicine practice, and wellness and prevention services. It will be a place for healing and wellness. Our physicians and caregivers will benefit from working in a healing environment that streamlines and supports the provision of high quality care. You may wonder why I'm referring to a healing environment rather than a facility or a building. Physicians and caregivers at Regional Health and at Custer Regional Hospital know that what we are building isn't simply made of bricks and mortar. Rather, we are building a culture that supports our patients and families through the stress of a new diagnosis, the process of healing, and at times the loss of a loved one. Our patients and families deserve a high-touch healing environment, and that's what we will deliver. <laughs> Healthcare is an essential component of every community, particularly, particularly for those that value growth, development, and quality of life. These are the earmarks of a successful community, whether you are choosing to start a business, retire in what we believe is God's country, or spend a week riding your motorcycle in the Black Hills. Our business community has been squarely behind us and we greatly appreciate your support. We recognize that quality health care is not possible without a team of dedicated physicians and caregivers. Our medical staff is truly second to none. I'd like to recognize Dr. Lisa Brown, our community medical director and my counterpart in leadership here in Custer. Dr. Joy Falkenberg, who has been Custer's chief advocate for the 13 plus years she has served this community. Our new family medicine physicians, Dr. Brandy Terrup and Dr. Nathaniel Chappelle, who have chosen Custer above all locations in the Black Hills and nationwide to call home. Dr. Terry Graber, who after 25 years of service to Custer, now cares for our neighbors to the north in our Hill City Clinic, alongside physician assistant, Zach Peterson. 
Dr. Heather Pruis, who cares for our patients in our Hot Springs Clinic, and Dr. Heath Waddell, who cares for patients here in Custer, as well as in Newcastle. In fact, he's over there right now taking care of everything so <laughs> others can be here. <laughs> I ask our Custer caregivers and physicians who are gathered here to raise your hand and be recognized. Come on, don't be shy. Thank you all. You are the heart and soul of regional health and Custer Regional Hospital and Clinic, and I thank you for all you do. We are grateful for this opportunity to fulfill regional health's purpose of helping patients and communities live well. I'd now like to invite Dr. Lisa Brown, our community medical director, and someone who I'm I am proud to call my partner in leadership to say a few words. So I don't spend a lot of time reading things off scripts. I off the cuff with patients all day long. So I have some things that I want to say on paper here, but I also just want to reference um, something that Brent said about having commitment from uh, staff. So. When Brent first came, uh, we all were feeling, I don't know about our leadership, not, not locally, but in the system as a whole. And he asked if we were gonna embark on this building project that he needed a committed medical staff. That has stuck with me. <laughs> there was, uh, I'm terrible at this, I have to tell you. <laughs> It's very hard for me to talk about things that are close to my heart. Um, I love practicing here. I love this community. My partners are fabulous. And so when Brent asked that, we all had to look at each other. Graber was there, Dr. Falkenberg, Dr. Waddell, not our new guys, but um, we looked at each other and we said yes. <laughs> because we knew that this community needed a new building. And we're calling it a building, but we have outgrown what we have. We outgrew it a long time ago. If any of you have you know, spent time hanging out in the waiting room during walk-in, uh, trying to get in to be seen, you know that we are tripping over each other, having collisions in the hallway. Um, we struggle to make sure that we have, when we're busy upstairs in the hospital, that we have enough rooms for people. So we are so excited and so grateful to have this project coming to a reality. Uh, it's really important to all of us who work there because we are gonna really enjoy working in a new environment. But first and foremost, this building, this project, this healing environment, this is for our, our community. It's for the people and their families who need to spend time there and need to get something out of that and be healed or learn to be well. I'm totally rewriting my script as we're going. I want you to know that. So um, I am happy to be Veronica's partner. It's a new um, leadership model within the system. Also, that was a, a new piece for regional when uh, Brent and his leadership team came on board. And so to have physicians recognized as leaders in the system has been really important to us. I think I've heard from Veronica that she appreciates my input. And uh, I have had interest and in, um, um, have enjoyed being involved in the planning and kind of the administrative side of things, trying to make things happen for us as well. And so that's been uh, a new interest of mine and I'm happy to have Veronica as a partner as well. So as we look around and we're taking care of the people in this community and our friends and our family who come to visit us, as well as all of our other visitors, you know, this is a, this is a privilege to take care of you and we're really excited to have this new space to, to uh, take care of you in. You're not supposed to end with a preposition, but I did. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's all right. Um, I, I want to reference back to the teamwork piece as well. We have had a great time working with BWBR, our architect group, and all of the people that I've newly met, and I think Veronica as well, who have been involved in our, our project and the planning and the designing. Um, the physicians on pass number one, when we were supposed to uh, build where we currently are located, uh, we were involved in that, and so we all presented a lot of concept ideas. Of course, we kind of went back to the drawing board when we moved the, the uh, building site to over into this space, but it's been great. And that's been great. Working with the team from regional has been fabulous, 
And we really believe that we have uh, come to a design that is going to be a great environment to work in, but most importantly, again, as both Brent and Veronica have, have said, it's we need a, an environment that is designed for good healing and for us to take care of people here in the community, specialists coming, integrated medicine, and this is going to be a great design. I think that you'll all be really excited to keep watching it come on, and then when it's time to open the doors and be in the space, that's going to be a day. So. Uh, teamwork is everything, and we didn't get here by any one person doing something by themselves. We do great care at our current space, and that is a team effort. Our mammography unit, team effort, and, and that's everything. And unless we continue to do that, we will not be successful in our endeavor. So on behalf of all of the caregivers, the physicians, the nursing staff, uh, I have to include Zach, our lone PA, and all of the other support staff who help us take care of every patient every day, we want to thank the community and regional health for help bringing us to this point. And we want to share our commitment with all of you to keep going forward with the commitment to help our community and the patients and people here live well. Thanks. Finally, I'd like to invite Pat Walker to the podium. As many of you know, Pat was a member of Custer Community Health Services, Inc., a volunteer board that was highly instrumental uh, in helping regional health assess the needs um, uh, and the future for the future of healthcare here in the community. Thank you, Veronica. It is a great day to be here today. The weather cooperated, as Veronica uh, mentioned. Uh, things are working in our favor. Everything. Uh, this is truly a red letter day uh, for the city of Custer, the Southern Hills, the surrounding communities. It's a day that will always be marked down in the history books. Everything. On behalf of the Custer community, I want to thank Regional Health for its long history of serving and responding to the needs of our community and for the many, many years that they have supported our local caregivers and our local hospital. We're excited about Regional Health's plan to, to build a new hospital and clinic uh, for the people of our community, and we're grateful to the city of Custer, as well as the members of the Custer Community Health Services, Inc. board that collaborated in partnership to make this become a reality. Both have also made significant contributions to this partnership in time and dollars. That brings me to a point where there are some individuals that deserve recognition for their long, long hours and years of service uh, that have brought health care to the point that it is in Custer. Is David Thome here? Dave, are you out there? Dave, would you come forward, please? Dave Thome has worked tirelessly for many, many years as a volunteer director uh, on the board of Custer Community Health Services, Inc. And for most of those years as a director and a volunteer, he was also our treasurer. He kept us in line, <laughs> filed all the reports necessary as a corporation, filed all the reports, kept everything in in collusion with regional health so that our contracts were lived up to, kept track of the money coming and going, and through all of that, he never lost his balance. <laughs> oh. Dave, thank you very much. We appreciate it. <laughs> Do you want to add, you add something you want to say? No. No. <laughs> Dave didn't get any script, so. Uh, another individual who worked tirelessly for years for health service in the Custer community, Walker Witt. Walker. As most of you probably know, uh, Walker served for many, many years as legal counsel to the Custer Community Health Services, Inc. board, kept us out of trouble, kept contracts in place, made sure everything stayed working well and then served as president of that board for many years after that. It's, uh, I don't think I can count far enough to count the hours and years that Walker put in toward bringing quality health care and keeping that service available to the Custer community. Everything is due to the many hours and, and many labors of love that he put in on this project that health care has come to where it is now and that it requires that we have this new facility going up to continue to provide quality space for our caregivers. Thank you, Walker, for all your service. <clears throat> and 
the, the enhancements that we will see rise on this site will add convenience and better accessibility today uh, while positioning our community to be well prepared for the future health care needs. Uh, studies show that critical access hospitals like ours here in Custer are vital to the community's economy and they generate a significant impact every year from operations, construction, and when a business owner makes a determination to bring a new business into Custer or buy an existing business, a retired couple that makes a determination to, to settle in Custer or a young couple with children decide to come to Custer, they're highly influenced by the, the local school system and the local health care system. It's two of the main priorities when they look at being able to settle in a community. So from for that perspective, we're very fortunate and we look forward to what the future holds for all of us here today. Thank you, Regional Health, all the people involved for your continued investment in our community. Thank you again. Thank you, Pat. And thank you to Dave Thome and to Walker, Walker Witt for their commitment to improving and um, keeping the quality of uh, health care going here in Custer. Now on to the fun part. We're going to move some dirt. 